sitting? Eric will start, yes. Yes, everybody else is the same. This is a team that you were leading by as many as 58 in the last meeting, but they were down a few players. They've gone John yeah, Collins back, Kevin Herter. Team, yeah. yeah. How important is it for your team to approach this game with the same mindset that you can't take this team lightly? Well, I mean, that's probably the key. And, you know, they're, they're human, and hopefully they understand these guys are playing well and they play hard, and, and they've got a lot more talent than them when we saw them. And, you know, we had a lot of shots. So, I mean, every game's different, and hopefully we approach it the right way. We've seen two straight really strong performances from Clint Capella now, going up against two All-NBA centers. What needs to happen for him to consistently put those performances together? Do three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> yeah, he's just got to keep playing. Uh, you know, he's, he's had low ups and downs, but uh, um, he's been good. How much of that is just the way teams defended the three-point line, yeah. where you're reading rather than what he's how he's performing? Well, y'all get excited when he gets points. I get excited if he plays consistently because it doesn't – points is something that we can't control. Either the team sloughs in and our three-point shooters get it or they fan out and Plintz gets them. So, or they don't guard – you know, they back off James and he scores. So it's um, – he's just a product of the team. And But there's other things. He If he runs the floor, can play 32 minutes, plays great defense and guards the rim and rebounds, and he's going to have a great game no matter how many points he gets. Coach, this might be the last time that this team goes up against Vince Carter. With their first game in January, he's now played in four different decades. Just how would you describe what Vince has meant to the NBA in this game? Well, he's a great example, just a really good guy, superstar that has had an amazing career. And, you know, just, you know, the NBA is lucky to have him. Because of the way the league uses threes now everywhere, can we see more guys playing, maybe not 42, but later into their 30s? Because you can change your game the way we've, we can name a few. Well, but a lot of it is just athletically, can you guard? You know, Vince has defied all odds, and he just keeps playing. Uh, so he's athletically a freak, probably. Um, and he's even, even a better shooter, so he's improved in a lot of the skill areas where he hasn't really lost his athleticism that much. He's lost it, but now he's normal. You know, before it was beyond normal. So, you know, I don't know. It's hard to make a generalization of everybody. Can they do a lot? Maybe. Uh, some guys will. Uh, it just depends, I guess, on the individual. And most of the time, your brain goes before your, your legs go. Just the motivation. Just moment. the motivation, getting them ready, get, staying in shape, just uh, the, you know, the love of the game sometimes, you know, goes away. Coach, with Russell Westbrook out tonight, how does the offense change, if at all? Just more James. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing <laughs> for you guys or whoever. Just more him. All right. All right guys. Hey, NBA fans. Kelly McGill here. If you like that last video from Fanatics View on YouTube, be sure to subscribe down below for exclusive NBA content.